Meanwhile, African Minerals surprised the market with the abrupt departure of both Chief Executive and Chief Financial Officer and said it was scrapping expansion plans to focus on existing operations. Now, the iron ore mining group hit its target export rate of 20 million tons per year in June and aims to maintain that rate consistently throughout the year. Uh, let's check in how, of course, before we go to how market uh, equities here traded at the Nigerian bulls, Africa is facing an unprecedented opportunity to transform itself and improve on the lives of its people. Now, the World Bank is responding with a new ambitious strategy which could help African economies take off. Now, we caught up with Jean-Philippe Prosper, Vice President of Saharan Africa at the IFC, for a look at how the World Bank and the IFC are collaborating to impact on the Ghanaian economy. Take a look. For Ghana, and I would say in Africa in general, the World Bank group, uh, talk about the World Bank, IFC, and MIGA, okay. we are focusing a lot on infrastructure and also agribusiness. I would say those are the two areas where we are focusing much I mean, more. And of course, in, in terms of business environment, trying to help you know, the business environment, improving the investment climate. I will talk to you more about what IFC is looking at and uh, the focusing on for the private sector. Um, in uh, I mentioned those three areas. I mentioned the agribusiness infrastructure. I mentioned improving the investment climate, mm -hmm. and all of these will have a major focus to have the impact on medium, on small and medium enterprise, micro, small and medium enterprises. Mm -hmm. That's you know the general focus, and also creating jobs. That's what we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, in that respect, are uh, you? Um providing some financing what exactly is going into the support you're giving to the private sector uh, well we foc we, we provide our, our focus on, on these areas we have done a lot in the power sector recently not too long ago we did Tico as you know one of the projects in uh, in the energy power power sector we are also in agribusiness we did a project like veg pro which is a cut fresh vegetable that actually those were sponsors that we brought from East Africa with bought with us um, to, um, to Ghana and we have also been involved in the oil sector I would say that in Ghana we have had an average investment of about 400 million dollars per year over the next the, the, the last two to three years and this mm. is the level of commitment that we'd like to increase mm. now I'm um, talking about the power sector um, we have had, you know, issues with the power sector. Are we seeing any sort of collaboration between, you know, the World Bank and Ghana to really see to our power challenges? Yeah, there are a lot of talks within the, the World Bank group in Ghana. And when I say the World Bank group, I want to focus to insist because our colleague from the World Bank, they focus a lot on the regulatory aspect and help the government to improve the regulatory framework that allows the private sector to invest and this is where we come in as IFC. So we work together very closely on that and we have a lot of discussions currently with the government of, of Ghana on the power sector on that aspect. Now, um, thirdly, there's a huge gap between infrastructure needs and investment. Currently about $48 billion annually according to um, the World Bank is into institution positioning itself to foster competitiveness and employment in the country. Um, how do we bridge that gap, that infrastructural gap? Well, I don't know about your sources. I mean, you mentioned the World Bank, but it wasn't yes. specified. I suspect that you're talking about Sub-Saharan Africa, 48, 48 billion, yeah. not just Ghana. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, um, it will be, uh, I mean, but regardless of the number, clearly there's a huge need for electricity, for power, anywhere in, in Africa. And uh, as I said, what we are doing in Ghana in particular, the World Bank Group, we are defining our strategy and how we can support that sector, and we are in discussion with the government because here you need all of the act several actors, and say, I would say several stakeholders, to use a better term. You need the government to make sure that you have the proper framework in place. Mm. And then you need the private sector to come to invest. I mean, the government should not be the one investing in power generation. All over the world is done by the private sector. The government cannot invest everywhere. You get them to go more in health and education, more the social sectors. And productive sector, which is more the power generation, would be you know, primarily the private sector. And we are working jointly with, with the rest of the World Bank Group as IFC 
to make sure not only you have the proper framework, but we can come along and invest in projects like TICO and others. And you know there's a lot of gas in Ghana, a lot of natural resources, gas to power. It's probably a great future for Ghana. Okay. Now, um, service delivery in education, health, and even infrastructure is often a problem. It's either um, not delivered or not delivered well. Now, um, we want to know how we can improve um, the system, especially managing public funds. Well, in terms of managing public funds, um, in, I mean, talking in general, the World Bank is also working with the government in terms of public sector management, financial management. So mm -hmm. that's what my colleagues uh, from the World Bank and they're in discussions with the government to see how we can help on that. However, on our side in the IFC, where we work primarily with the private sector, at least on the investment side, have an education, we have program where we advise uh, government in, in terms of some form of public-private partnerships and frankly you have been quite successful in Africa on that whether it's been in Lesotho or in Sudan, South Sudan or in other countries in Africa in the health sector and also in education so we are quite active as World Bank group also in those uh, social sectors both on the regulatory ad framework policy advice on the bank or on investment for IFC. Mm. But, but do you have some specific plans to you know, partner government to really deal with uh, managing public funds? It's really an issue. Well, listen, as I said, there's, there is a program, you know, you know, support from the bank on public sector financial sector management. But at the end of the day, this is the responsibility of the government. We can provide advice mm. and up to the government to implement and decide. I mean, it's a sovereign government.